Delighted that Elaine is joining our team and has just moved down from um, Harrogate. So Elaine, just um, uh, so you know, Elaine's going to be taking on our children's ministry and leading that for us. Thank you, Gary. How are we doing here? This is seamless, as you can tell. <laughs> Elaine, delighted that you're with us. Why don't you um, start us off by telling a bit of your story? Um, so I came to faith at 31, um, and um, my husband, ex-husband, invited me on an alpha course. That's a whole other story. Um, and um, uh, I um, said that I would go along because uh, I liked a good argument. <laughs> and um, basically gave my life to Christ after about four weeks on alpha. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I had started at a church and was attending um, and really wanted to have a two-way conversation with God because they'd said that that was possible but didn't feel that that was happening for me. Um, and so um, I reckon, well, Holy Spirit was working on me as well. I um, was the head of marketing for a bank and um, so I had that whole sort of like work hard, play hard thing going on and what people didn't know about me on the surface or underneath was that um, I took drugs in my spare time um, and so um, God completely worked on that and the Holy Spirit completely transformed my life and took that out of my life after about three months of coming to faith and then um, a few months after that I got blasted by the Holy Spirit sat on a plastic chair outside a caravan in France just me and God and sunshine and um, from that moment on it just gave me a real heart for um, children and young people experiencing the fullness of God I just felt that if um, as a child somebody had introduced me to the person of Jesus and he'd become my best friend that I wouldn't have traded anything for that relationship and nothing that was fake would have got in the way. So, yeah, so that's how I came to faith. Oh, yeah, now tell us a little bit about what you did for New Wine and uh, all that involved. Oh, um, I um, started volunteering on team at New Wine about 11 years ago in Rock Solid. And um, the first time on team, I was just blown away by the quality of what they did, but also the way that the Holy Spirit moved in the kids and the way that the children and the teams went away changed. Um, and so I went to my church leaders and said, when you bring new wine to the Channel Islands, you've really got to bring the kids' work, but I'm not the person to lead it. <laughs> uh, so God had a different plan. <laughs> and um, I ended up leading new wine Channel Islands for um, oh, about eight years and um, also leading Rock Solid at Shepton Mallet for um, five years as well. So, um, yeah, I, and anybody that doesn't know, that's work for eight to nine-year-olds and about 600 kids every summer and a team of about 100 people. So, yeah, just for fun. So you've <laughs> recently been up north, uh, where you've been living, living in Harrogate, but just moved just on, was it Monday? Yes, moved, moved on Monday so, with my dog, Suki. So how are you liking Birmingham so far? I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> right. Do not tell people how amazing Birmingham is <laughs> because they don't realise and it should be a well-kept secret so that when you go to the canals and all the amazing museums and places that you have at your fingertips, they're not packed like London is. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm a total convert and I've only visited for a couple of days. The rest of the time I've been unpacking. So, Elaine, tell us something you're excited about, about being in Birmingham, but also in this, this next phase of leadership in the vineyard here. Uh, I'm just so excited by what I feel God's going to do um, to transform Birmingham I just I've been praying for wisdom and just praying for God to download strategies and ideas and I can't believe the stuff he's putting in me um, and I, I just can't wait for my first one-to-one -one with the two of you to start going what about this what about that <laughs> um, so you can tell I'm an excited person by nature so I have to calm myself down no, take do a deep breath don't do that no just <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, uh, tell us a couple of things that we could pray for as you settle into Birmingham. What are the top two things that we could pray for just to welcome you into our church community and welcome you into the city? Pray that I continue to be wise um, and that I see, and see the unseen and hear the unheard because that's always my prayer that I'll see beneath the surface in people, in situations, in all things that God will give me his wisdom. And secondly, that I make loads of non-Christian friends. 
um, and that I'm given lots of supernatural opportunities to just come across others that I really connect with um, because I want to, I'm sure all of you will become friends anyway um, because that's your, the spirit's in me, the spirit's in you, it's that Mary and Elizabeth moment will jump automatically. So that's okay. But um, for non-Christians to come t into relationship is just fab because then, then I've got a chance to, to see others come to faith. Wonderful, wonderful. Can we just uh, stand and pray for Elaine? Is that all right?